Hello folks, this is David Uso Conway, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Space Engineers, where today I'm going to unveil my new station. Now, this is the Seri Intergalactic Space Station that I came up. As you can see, Blue 2 is actually one of the default ships, um, but the reason why it is there is because I actually have it docked at the moment. Um, I still have some things I want to do with this, um, this station, because what it is, is because it's... Uh, more than one faction that is joined together. I'm actually going to be building another segment on the station. Um, as you see right here, I'm showing you uh, the air ducts, um, the uh, airlocks, I mean. Um, you see the merge blocks on there, and I'll show you right here on blue too. I actually have them locked in place. And what I have is I have those spotlights there so that way people with their ships can line it up and then lock on. Now, I'm going to show you on the bottom half here. I'm going to develop uh, two new ships. Um, these are supposed to be like emergency um, ships. The yellow one is for regular passengers uh, to leave, and the red one would be for uh, faction leaders. Um, they would all get into the same craft and depart from this particular um, air dock right here. And as you can see, this goes all the way up back into the station. Um, I have all my uh, airlocks connecting and uh, actually have double sided. I have doors on both portions where they would um, release uh, so that way it'd be like a, an actual air dock, uh, airlock. Um, as you see up here, I have two towers um, that brings in some solar energy. I also have um, glass with them because they're uh, also observation decks. Um, this symbol right here that I made with the yellow and black, that's actually the radiation symbol for this Seri Galactic Empire that I made up. Um, this pathway I actually have that winds all the way up from the bottom um, uh, engineering bay, because um, only engineers are allowed to go to the very upper section that's blocked off up there. Um, as you see, I also have this other one that's powered up. This is a design that my friend actually made right here. Um, he made basically the, a giant power block ship. Um, so all all the main power is in there, and then the reactor that's on top of the station there is uh, an emergency reactor. Um, but uh, my friend Johnny Ninja was the one that designed the uh, power block. He was also going to be working on a R and D. Uh, uh, division um, system that we were going to lock onto the station, but he's been very busy lately. Um, as you see, I have I, I had to downgrade the both the quality, the rendering, and everything because before this, um, the lag was just really bad with this. And uh, actually, right underneath the floorboard is here. I have gravity generators so that because I noticed that from the station when I got to that point. Um, there wasn't any gravity, and I wanted to have gravity in my uh, air air docks, my airlocks there. So what I did is um, I stuck them underneath the floorboard there. As you see, I also got the windows so you could see through. And these, are, this is the intersecting corridors. This is where the other ship would end up docking on the side here. I got a gravity generator on there too. And you see, this is right to open space since there isn't a ship dock there right now. Now, the camera is actually working a lot better now um, in the recording, but when I was uh, actually in-game, it, it was lagging a little bit more than this. Um, so I'm glad that the, at least the recording uh, is a little bit clearer and... Uh, not as bad. Now we've entered the main segment of the facility here. And you see I got some support beams because I have another floor above. Um, that is the uh, primary uh, station. This is one of the primary stations right here. As you can see I got a red light that's over it. That's supposed to be like for, you know, for officer personnel and like, you know, station personnel only. Um, not to have any of the guests that are aboard. You see this area right here, they got like the, uh, it's like a command deck where they monitor the different ships that are docking on the main docking bays. <clears throat> and as I bring you down over here, I got this right here, which connects straight up 
into that observation deck. I'll show you real quick. That way people would, you know, they'd be able to come up here and, uh, of course, with their stylus jetpacks. Um, and I'm just going to toss a couple chairs down real quick. Looks a little looks a little off with uh without any chairs in the observation deck. <laughs> so I'll put a few here. Alright. I can tell you right now, um if you haven't done windows, windows can be a little bit of a pain if you're gonna be using a lot of them. Um I actually have one ship um that I call the Metrodome. Um that I use nothing but windows in it and actually in one video in another video I'll uh, I'll end up sh showing that where the it's only a uh, basically a giant glass cockpit and it had the backside is all uh, like thruster power and you know purely propulsion there's like no deck or anything back there but it's more like a shuttle alright I'll show you in here real quick now this area right here, there's an order detector in here. What I'm using it for is that um, basically when it's going to be like the security section where if somebody uh, docks a ship, th uh, that device is supposed to do a uh, bigger scan, scan all the ships, make sure they're not carrying any illegal paraphernalia into the, sh into the uh, station. This area right here is the um, where the main control systems for the... Um, the thrusters on the outside of the station, so it keeps the station within a uh, um, an orbit, like its current orbit, so it doesn't end up drifting off into space. I'm gonna show you this section right here. Now, this is the main airlock area for going back and forth in between the main shuttle bay. Now. I copy the station and I put it into an empty world because originally I was getting some really horde lag. Um, but as you can see, like I have this setup right here, and I did have one of the um, one of the uh, default ships in the world uh, that like Blue Two comes from. I actually had that uh, docked in there. I had it uh, landed on the landing pad and stuff. And then I guess when I copied it over, it didn't do that. But because Blue 2 was locked onto the station, it copied Blue 2, so at least I was able to show that off. This right here is the emergency, um, like, it's an emergency center, so like, if somebody comes in and they're in dire need of medical attention, um, they would, instead of going th through to the regular medical center, they come straight into here, they can go right up these stairs here, and... As you see right over in this corner, I got a medical bay. Now, you're bringing it right down these stairs. And what I have is I have this area right here that's opened up. Um, goes into the, in, uh, the engineering slash docking bay. Now, that's for ships that are either heavily damaged or if it's for, um, like, say, for instance, an engineer got injured. Um, that way I have that access port up there, and they can just fly straight up into that access port. Um, and you see I got all these welders right here, so they'll be able to bring their ship over into that. Um, this right here, this is the engineering vehicle that I would have used. Um, I'm not going to drive it myself, because I'm just getting used to starting to drive those with the uh, new suspension system and uh, I don't want to accidentally just drive it right off the thing but basically what would happen is you would drive the vehicle up along this path up here um, to the main to this main power emergency power center now you can see over here you got the beacon inside that I just thought you know I didn't want to have it so that you got this big illuminated beacon so I encased it in uh, black blocks, and as you see, we got the nuclear reactor right there. And you see, I also named it emergency backup. That's in case if something happened to my friend's power block station that's connected. If all of a sudden, say for instance, an enemy attacked and they went straight for that power block, 
or if uh, some sort of cosmic disaster like uh, a freak meteor storm just destroys that, I have that emergency power up there, so that way it would last a station for at least uh, a week until they uh, they could send uh, help out some aid to station. Now this is another door. This this is a restricted access area, um, maintaining the main gravity section. Uh, I'm gonna toss a red chair in here and that's primarily because that is a restricted area and there nobody else is supposed to be in there except for a red clearance individual um, generally officer uh, accidentally left that yellow there as you see this is the uh, that same hatch that we came out of earlier from the emergency med room go up that real quick I'm actually gonna toss a door in here real quick at this point I'm I probably should have just like hovered right over it and uh, looked because I'm sitting there I'm flipping around and completely didn't realize that it was already lined up but alright got that in there now Bring you right back through here so I can show you the other parts of the station. Uh, this this construction I got a little little bit into creating all my uh, air compression chambers. <laughs> um, over here you can see I got a bunch of storage. Um, bring you right up here real quick too. So this area over here has some more storage. And right out here is a balcony, so if you want, you can come out here and you can overlook the rest of the station while there's people in there. You know, see who's coming and going and stuff in the uh, main section. I'll bring it right back through here. I'll bring up these other stairs over here in a moment. And another storage container here. Um, the storage container up here would be more of um, uh, station supplies type thing, whereas the other ones that are down below, they're all lined up. Those would be the ones that uh, general passengers could use. Now this is an observation deck of the uh, the team that would be manning the um, the actual uh, docking procedures for other ships that are incoming. You got another balcony right here, so if you want, you could like look through the window and you can see who's docked on the uh, far left uh, air dock there. <coughs> now I'm gonna just use my jetpack real quick so I can uh, drop down. I'm bringing right up these. Spent a decent amount of time on these. I made these passageways where it takes you from the main section of the station and then you come up here now this is gonna be the area where it's not only observation where you look up there you see we're up there you like look at the planet and stuff that I got from the uh, skybox alright And if you're not sure where to get the skyboxes, I'll include a link of one of my past videos um, that has uh, the links to the skyboxes and how to implement them. Alright, bring it right down here. This main section is more for um, restricted personnel because um, it's actually the uh, chamber that heads straight over. As you see, this chamber is a little bit different than the other um, pressurized areas.
And this is the dock that connects to the power block ship. <coughs> Excuse me. And my friend, he, he spent quite a bit of time on the interior here. Um, you see, originally this was all lit up green. Um, so I'm guessing uh, he might have changed the lighting or something. But he wanted to have it look like a like a giant rotating reactor. And originally what happened is um, I think it might have been when he was positioning the ship. And the entire wheel turned around and it smashed in the inside of the ship. And that entire, and that entire section down there was destroyed. So he had to refix it all. And I think at that time when he fixed it all he didn't change the color back. Um, but you see this is the outside again. Because he has another dock over here. And you got supply tube too. And you see he just he literally just made that into a straight up like power strip. <laughs> and this is the um the uh maintenance engineering uh docking facility right here. As you got I as you can see I got it all opened up so that it's like guiding uh ships into it. And you see you bring it right up here. Got the two yellow landing pads, which would be more or less just like the uh, engineering vehicles, and I got the one red one there, and then I got the um, actual welding station that you would bring the ship onto. The red one is for the damaged ships. Bring it right up here. See the little area right here? That was that other hole that we saw earlier. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull, I'm going to build that other station. The other station piece that I was talking about. And I'm gonna build it right out about run uh, not this not this far out actually. I'm gonna build it right about this height here. Have it come out that far. And I'm gonna build it going up a little bit. Um I don't think I wanna build it too big compared to the observation stations because I don't want to really block their views. But I'm going to build it where it's going to be coming out a little bit, then going up a little bit. But so far, this is what I have for the, the Intergalactic Series Space Station. And uh, I got working air docks on it. Um, pressurized areas. Got the emergency ones down below. And i just like to thank everybody for joining me. This is USO245. And have a nice day, folks.